Uh, yeah, you know, like I was saying in the previous video, right at the end there, um, you know, I would, I would work out, you know, I have these great, awesome workouts, you know, like finish up on the heavy bag, doing all, all this kicking type MMA style kicking training. And uh, I feel like a million dollars, no doubt, for like a couple hours after, you know, while I'm doing it and then after and then for a little while, very short little while. And then it would just, things would kick in into my, like my brain and I would just go into this mode, this deep thinking mode of uh, realization of uh, the futility of life, you know, basically as they, as they say. And I find myself getting extremely depressed, you know, thinking about getting really old and stuff. So I, I really needed that element of uh, age management, as they say. I needed that continual activity that helps big time with, with age management. And uh, I think eventually you do have to get away from these types of activities that I just so loved in the past, like, like, like I was saying, like, go, uh, doing, uh, you know, in the previous videos, you know, like, uh, going to the ball field and stuff, you know, eventually the body, uh, does age out of that kind of activity. And, and also, so as well with, with, uh, you know, training, like when you're training, like a, like a kickbox or whatever, <clears throat> training, like an MMA, competitor once you get to a certain point in life though um as was with my case you you start to analyze deep down your innermost thoughts and you realize that this is like futility really <coughs> ultimately it's it's <coughs> it's a harsh realization of futility i, I gotta find that thing that that's gonna serve as the best age management and so, yeah, I think the swimming has been the answer, the addition of swimming on top of the resistance training, of course, you know, in the gym. Because, like, you, you don't really have that decline. You really don't. Like, you, you can still really have a nice, impressive physique well into old age. You can have impressive strength well into old age. You know, like, like gym type strength, but like, as far as like recreational activities, like baseball or softball or basketball or soccer or whatever, uh, yeah, you're going to, you're going you're gonna to really, you're going to have the decline. It's going to, it's going to really start hitting you like a ton of bricks once you get in your forties and it's going to depress the crap out of you. And the same with like, you know boxing training or, or MMA training, you know, it's basically the same thing. You, at least in my case, you know, I was just, I was realizing, you know, I'm, I'm, what am I doing? Like, this is gonna, I'm gonna start, like, eventually, um, things are gonna, like, my body isn't gonna like this if I keep this up. And, uh, <clears throat> It's not gonna. It's not gonna serve me too well. Eventually, I'm gonna start like injuring myself. It's not an old man's game. This stuff, you know. I, I gotta. I gotta really get into the wisdom of proper age management. You know, when it comes to activities. Uh, this thing. I don't know if this thing is gonna show up on the screen. Somebody button in, trying to chat with me. Probably going to show up. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Um, if I exit out, it's probably going to end my video, though. I don't know if it's going to show up. Probably is going to show up in the video. <clears throat> um, yeah, I got to keep drinking water. Talking takes a lot out of you. I don't normally make these videos. I haven't made them in a long time. Now I'm exploding with a video series. And it's like thirsting me out big time. 
throat keeps drying out like a frog, like a toad. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, uh, I really highly recommend to the 40 and overs out there. Um, just uh, be very realistic when it comes to your approaches and methods of training, you know. To train wisely, stay in shape wisely. Like, don't think that you have the same body that you used to have. You, you, you gotta, like, accept the changes and go with the flow, roll with the punches instead of punching away, swinging away, flailing away, you know, with futility. You gotta face the facts and realistics. You may still look youthful and everything. You may still have a nice physique for your age, but like you got to try to take on a different physical outlet. You know, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like I said, I still have a desire to do bag work and get into training, but I, I don't want to get into that mode though of, of uh, that delusional mode of thinking, oh yeah, I still have it. Yeah, I still got it. Yeah. But for how much longer am I still going to have it, you know? Like, really? Do I still have it? Who am I kidding, you know? Come on, you know? I may impress people, a lot of people still, but, you know, where do I draw the line? I got to draw the line. Like, I'm, I, I, my subconsciousness kicks in, and I think ahead, and I'm like, you know, I, this is a, me, a big-time means to an end. And it's going to end with a crash if I don't really wise up to the fact and, and knowledge of the necessities of age management, you know, proper age management, you know, not, not the delusional type, the wishful thinking type. You got to be realistic as you're aging. You really do. Hey, you know, and like I was uh, emphasizing, you know, swimming is just really great for age management. No doubt. It really is. Uh, Jack Elaine is a perfect example. If you can use no other examples besides him, you know. He aged extraordinarily well. And uh, his, arguably his favorite acti physical activity was swimming. He, he, he did more of that than any other physical activity. And it, it enabled him to age extremely well from a physical and psychological standpoint. You know, you know, he was never self-destructive after he got into the, the fitness way of life. You know, he didn't fall into any old bad habits that he had previously had, you know, before he delved into the, you know, engorged himself into the, the whole fitness uh, lifestyle, you know, in place of his, his very negative mindset previously, you know, I don't know if people have heard, but he was supposedly, uh, very, um, well, his diet was horrible and, uh, he, he had, I guess he had issues like, you know, like he just was really just, I don't want to go, I want I don't want to really get into it, but he, you know, he, he really had like conflicting issues in his mind, obviously, and, and it, he knew he knew he needed change, so he he turned to that fitness lifestyle, and he really incorporated swimming big time. And it, like I said, it not only really he not only really prevailed physically, but also psychologically, mentally, he really prevailed. It just turned him into a whole different individual, whole other human being. You know, it enabled him. To get out of his, like, he had serious negativity problems before changing his, his ways. Like, I, I remember, I, I heard that he was elaborating about that he, uh, you know, he, he had serious psychological issues. Besides being obviously really unhealthy from his really poor diet, he... He turned it all around, and uh, swimming was a huge part of his workout program to, right to the end. And he aged extremely well, and uh, that's what it's about, really. You know, you got to age well. You got to do what you got to do.